Hello, this is Ina Adams, and this is my new show, The Real Savannah. Today is February 2019, and we're here to actually meet Eddie Deloach, mayor of Savannah, and listen to his state of the city address so we will know what happened in 2018 and what are plans for 2019. I know there are so many plans for development and beautifying of this wonderful city of Savannah. We'll see if Eddie Deloach is actually going for another run for mayor for Savannah, okay? And police was of course around us, they protecting us, very important, very important event. All the very important people inside, okay, besides me, everybody else is super <laughs> important. There are some top positions in the city, let's look at them inside. Welcome Mayor Eddie Deloach. <laughs> I've done this two or three times, it comes around that, so don't just relax and I am not Ronald Reagan. I don't claim to be Ronald Reagan, but I'm going to give y'all a feel of where we are as far as the city is concerned and what I feel like we're trying to get accomplished. So I just left the room where Eddie Deloach, the 66th mayor of Savannah, just gave his state of address. State of the city address about our favorite city, Savannah. And I will tell you some main details because you know you definitely can find the whole speech which was just presented, but maybe you want just to have some solid points which you can understand where we're going. Number one is public safety. And of course, when we speak about number one problems in Savannah is crime. So Eddie Deloach actually ran in 2015 on a platform decreasing crime in Savannah. And we can see that 15% for the last 2018 we have 15% decrease in crime in Savannah and we have 34% decrease in homicide, meaning less people killing people. So for the crime reduction, especially in a young age, juvenile and minors, when they commit a crime, some sort of misdemeanor, not necessarily a real crime, but misdemeanor, there is a great program which is called Front Porch Center, and that in, uh, helps you uh, to get back to society. There are social workers who work in there, not people with guns, but social workers, they try to help our minors to get back to their real life, to get back to their families. They are not taken away from the families. They are not put in terrible conditions of prisons or jail. If the police department picks up a minor misdemeanor crime, they can now drop them off at the front porch where their needs are addressed by a trained counselor instead of someone with a gun. Next point of, of priority is jobs. Of course, jobs are very important and we see that Eddie Deloach put in lots of effort into that, especially to bring youth to work. If you have someone you know, 16 and older, and who is a student in a high school, you might advise them to apply. It's called Summer 500 program, and the application will be still up till March 31st. So if you're in school, in high school, and you're 16 and, uh, and older, you can apply for this program and receive $8 an hour for your summer jobs. Some of the first jobs I had were washing cars, catching chickens, <laughs> propping tobacco. I did it all. I did paid, I tried it. Today, I own my own business. I'm the mayor of the city of Savannah. And the city was sponsoring two job fairs last year. Uh, all together, 2,000 people managed to attend, and so many of them were hired right there at that spot. We also provided classes for citizens come in and receive help with resume writing, interviewing, dressing for success, and how to remove issues from your background. Then we have, of course, the importance of uh, development in the city, how city is growing, how the city is getting cleaned up, and we need to understand that the mayor is standing behind that also. We have this great program which is called Savannah Shines Campaign, where city is trying to locate uh, the landlords 
and owners of abandoned houses and tries to persuade them to improve their houses or to demolish them and build new houses. So tonight I'm asking the council and the county to join me in setting aside at least six million dollars of proposed splash dollars to create a revolving fund to build 50 homes a year in our Savannah neighborhoods. Altogether last year we received $547 million investment into Savannah from um, into community. I don't know who invested. Investors usually private, right? So I guess private investors with the help of the city invested $547 million into our community. Over $547 million of private investment in our community and the increase in our bond rating of double double A plus. So that, that means that must be really good. Everybody's excited about it and I'm glad to have it. And I want to finish this our little interview with this great phrase from Ed Deloach quoted February nineteenth, two thousand nineteen. Right? And the quote is we have the ability and we have the desire to work together. So the ability and desire. Let's work together, let's make the city great, not again, just great and even better, right? right. We have the ability and we have the desire to, to, to work together. And I think that's what's going to make us look that much better and do that much better, is that ability to work together through any silo you might be in. If you would like to know more about places, people and events in Savannah, just subscribe to my channel and you will be up to date. And this is Ina Adams with Real Savannah. Stay tuned!